Hello everybody, this is Admiral, and today's invention was inspired by the sliding glass doors you oftentimes see at the entrances to shops. So these work in much the same way that sliding glass doors work, at least in America. You enter in on the right hand side, and the doors will shift over, and they will not shift back until you go completely through. And going in from the other side is the exact same. It just shifts over the other direction, and you can walk right through. And I think it's super cool. So here's the redstone involved. Uh, it does use eight pistons, so it's not the cheapest build, but it's not that expensive, and it still looks super cool. To build this, you need four glass, two fence gates, solid blocks, four pressure plates, eight pistons, 23 redstone dust, eight redstone torches, and four redstone repeaters. So the hardest part of building this is actually just setting up the outline. So first you need to place down four blocks of glass like this, with two fence gates in the middle. These will be your actual doorways. Then you have to cover up the outside with solid blocks. And put two solid blocks right here and right here. It actually looks nice if you cover up this rim right here also, but it's not a necessity. Once you're finished with your outline, you need to place in your eight pistons. I place them off camera because they take a very long time to place. So place them in these positions. Just pause the video right here. Go and place them and come back when you're done. And once you are done, you need to figure out where these pressure plates are and find that spot underneath and build down two and break this block. Now you need to repeat that underneath every pressure plate. And place redstone dust on top of each of those blocks. Then go back up and find the right pressure plate. And that's the one that's going to open the door. So you need to build down like this. Place a block there. Redstone dust here, here. Redstone torch right here with a block on top. And place a block here with redstone dust right here. Block here. Torch here. Block here. And redstone dust right here. Then you need to repeat the process but go diagonally. So if we first did it on this redstone dust right here, we need to do it on this one this time. So build down like this again place blocks there and there, dust right here, redstone torch on the back, block here, block there, redstone dust right there, block right there, redstone dust, I'm not re redstone torch, block, redstone dust. Okay, now you're actually done with the opening sequence, and now to get the closing sequence, it's just a little bit different, so find the ones that you didn't mess with before, build down like this, and place a block right there, redstone repeater set to 4 ticks of delay, Build down like this and drag this line of blocks all the way over here. Do the same on the other side. Set this to four ticks of delay. Block there. Block down here. And just run redstone dust all the way along here. And then this is super simple. Place a block right here. Redstone repeater right here. Set to four ticks of delay. Redstone, not redstone. <laughs> block right here. Torch on top. Block. Torch on top again. Another block and redstone dust. And do the same on the other side. Hopefully we can finish before night starts. So block, redstone repeater on four ticks of delay. Block right here. Redstone torch, block, redstone torch, block, and finally redstone dust on top. So now you're done. So to open it, walk through the right. And you're good to go. So it works in both directions. And you're all set. I recommend that you definitely cover this up. Because it doesn't look great when all the pistons and stuff are exposed. Thank you so much for watching. I think this is a pretty cool door that could be used in a shop or just your house or whatever. I've actually never seen anything like this before. So, like I said, it's really cool. Um, I hope you were able to understand everything that I said or did in this tutorial. If you need help or something, please just leave a comment. And I'll try to clear up any confusion that you may have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. I'm actually going to include this world download link in the description, because I went kind of fast during the tutorial. So if you couldn't follow anything, just download the world and check it out for yourself.